Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at collection instances. What this allows you to do is create an object, add modifiers, and then create clones to that object, allowing for any edits to that object and the modifiers to propagate through the clones. Let's create a simple example to demonstrate this. I'm going to first remove the cube from our project. So I'm going to right click and delete. Next, I'm going to come over to the Z axis. I'm going to sketch something up on here using the add and come down to curve and pick Bezier curve. A Bezier curve has been added to the screen, but I don't want this one. I'm going to come over to the edit mode. And now I can highlight all those vertices in there and hit delete on the keyboard and delete vertices. Next, I'm going to sketch something simple in here. I'm going to use the curve pen tool and I'm going to add something quite simple, something like a bottle shape, just quickly sketching. And I'm not going to go past this center line. So I've added my curve. I'm now going to come over to object mode. So I've got my Bezier curve in here. From here, I can convert this to a mesh if I wanted to. I'm just going to use a screw modifier on this Bezier curve. Make sure the Bezier curve is selected. Come down to the modifiers, click that, and then add modifier. Let's come down and find the generate and look for screw. So we've added a screw modifier to this. It's on the wrong axis. So I can select which axis I want this on. I want it on the X axis. So I've got this object here. This gives us something to demonstrate this with. We have a modifier and we've got something that we can edit quite easily. I'm now going to take this object and add it to a collection. Come over, right click on the object, move to collection. We select new collection and we can give it a name. I'm going to call it bottle collection and hit enter on the keyboard. Hit OK. On the right hand side now, you can see it's been moved to the collection here. You can see it's sitting there in the collection. Let's come up to add, collection instance, and bottle collection. If I come over and select the move tool and move this now, you see that we have an instance of that bottle. Let's bring it up to the top. So we've got this one here, the in bottle collection, and we can see this one as well. I can make multiple instances of this just by clicking on it. You can see it there, the bolt collection, just by using the same one, add collection instance, bolt collection. We have now got two. We can move those out of the way. I've got the move tool still selected. Let's go back to our original this one here, which we made the collection instances from, and change the modifier. So the modifier is here. I'm going to swing this around to something like this view, to see the back, and I can use the different axis to see those changes applied across all instances. The same with the others. As you can see, as I move the angle, it's applied across them all. The same with the screw. If I modified the Bezier curve within, so you can see we've got the Bezier curve in here, we've got the modifier. That's hide the modifier. So I'm going to make it invisible. You can see we have that property of invisible applied across all of those, all of those instances. Let's come up to object mode and edit. So I'm editing the Bezier curve, the original one. Zoom in and I can pinpoint, say this one here, you can see they've all highlighted. I'm going to use the move or use the G on the keyboard. And we can see we can move and edit this how we like. Come back to object mode. Let's show that. And that's been applied across them all.
Let's just change these properties back to how they were before. And add another modifier. Can I add modifier? This time I'm going to use a mirror. You can see that mirror has been applied across them all. So I hope that's given you an overview of collection instances and how to use them in Blender. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you again. If you're enjoying these videos and you would like to support the channel, then you can do so via my Ko-Fi page. That's at ko-fi.com forward slash mj3dstudio. Any donations will be used to help to span the channel. I'd like to thank you all for watching and I hope to see you again soon.